Hello and welcome back everyone to Duel Masters for the PlayStation 2 on Rocket Rabbit Commentaries. And in this episode, we're continuing Flint, Flynn's quest through the brackets on, uh, yeah, the Five Colors Tournament. Oh look, I opened Double Shadow Moon. That's gonna be good for my mana. Marrow Ooze is honestly a very interesting card, but since it dies when it attacks, it's pretty much a way worse Braid Claw. At least it's a decent black card. Yeah, and black is really struggling for black cards, which is why this fucker decided to cast Dark Reversal to get Marrow Ooze back in his hand, despite the fact that he's not gonna actually cast Marrow Ooze again. Ugh. Yeah, it worked. It worked, sure, but that but that dark reversal would have been just straight up better to be well to be thrown into his fucking mana. Yeah, isn't it funny that AI can see two moves ahead, but it really would have it really would have been better off if only it had seen the third one at the same time. <laughs> I've decided to block here simply because no, nothing in the rest of his hand is actually all that scary for a bloody skeeto. And Flynn really doesn't want to get to a low shield count. He, um, oh, and then he hits me with Ghost Touch, discard whatever the fuck it was. I hope it wasn't Flail. I want to show off Flail. I'm Yay! Gonna equip, <laughs> I'm going to equip my Ryuka shit with dark energy. And then I'm going to end my turn. Mm, all right, Bronze Arm Tribe. Thank you for smacking the dude in his face. I think this is Chris or is this Evan? It's not Chris Evans, though, so there's that. Evil Choo Choo Train. Hey, don't diss the Locomotiva, okay? Thanks to the Locomotiva, this dude is officially out of fucking resources. <laughs> Normal trains will just ride on the rails. This train eats them mm. for breakfast. And plus, Locomotiva's got a shield trigger, so it's on. It's honestly one of the uh, one of the more powerful black cards uh, that they get. <laughs> it actually plays the train horn during the attack animation cutscene. That does. is awesome. Jeez, I haven't seen a train this evilly possessed since Paper Mario 2. I've not played Thousand Year Door, so... Smorg! Smorg! What about Doom Train? Like there are Smorg. people that that think that Doom Train is not is not a recognizable reference, but Cloud, surely you know what I ref what I refer to when I speak of Doom Train, right? Nope. Oh damn it! I sad. Well, isn't it wonderful that this this is a show that brings together two two different people with different exposures and backgrounds growing up that we can we can just bring together these little colloquialisms we've come up from time to time. Uh, a bit. Anyway, Doom Train is from Final Fantasy VIII. It's one of the more difficult summons to unlock, and without outside of game, and with and without uh, outside game knowledge, you're likely not going to get it yourself. But it is most certainly worth getting if you can, uh, because it inflicts virtually every status ailment in the game onto uh, onto uh, onto an enemy. Oh jeez, I'd like to see this creature, this particular gray balloon shaped into a poodle. Uh, no, you would not, honestly, because it would be very gray, and then it would uh, le then it would leak uh, uh, ectoplasm all over the place. And you'd have to clean it up, and you don't have the materials needed to clean up ectoplasm cloud. Oh, jeez, it's that kind of balloon. Yeah, yeah. That gray balloon has seen some shit. It uh, can write a book. I have a little talking head documentary, how it used to be a drug mule for the Mexican cartel. All right, Dark Gamma, I'll finish off Chris, or Evan, whichever it is. Pound him in his face! Slash. Stupid! <laughs> mm. Yeah, Flynn tries to act all cool, but he's still running the darkness specialty, so he sucks. Blech. Yeah, we have a different, uh, I win animation now. Yes, we do. That's nice. Flynn, Flynn just folds his arms as if it was effortless for him. And it's eff and it's mostly effortless for me, but it wasn't for Flynn. I see what this tournament wanted to do. It wanted you to get used to the idea that at some point, if you want to see the different campaigns, you got to get used to other people's play styles. And they do this not by waiting for you to finish the campaign, but by putting it near the end of one. So you get so you get primed for changing your character right when you co when you complete the campaign. No, no, no. In order to unlock the five colors <laughs> tins, uh, tournament, you have to actually beat the, uh, beat everyone's campaign. I did Rebecca last, which is why uh, 
Yeah, which is why we're doing the Five Colors Tournament now. As Pascal was mentioning there, the game really wants you to do Rusty's Campaign first because Rusty's Campaign shows off a lot of the stuff that's supposed to be happening uh, in the real world card game. Specifically trading, going on side quests for people, and you know, and building up, uh, both, building up both your deck with rare cards as well as your rank uh, through uh, defeating strong opponents. Rusty's Campaign is a great tutorial. It is also, honestly, the second worst of the campaigns because Rusty is not fucking important in his campaign. The only important thing about Rusty's campaign is that it shows that Marcus is willing to play unfair in order to, in order to try to, uh, to accomplish Widow's dream. And specifically, he wants to bribe Rusty with a bunch of rare cards in, in order to uh, in order to have him transfer over and uh, uh, fight alongside Caitlyn, who is Rusty's uh, who is Rusty's quote unquote rival for uh, uh, in the uh, Fire Civilization. To be perfectly honest, Rusty spends most of his campaign uh, uh, most of his campaign dealing with the fact that Marcus really want, or really doesn't want to go to the Five Colors tournament. No. I can't go back to that tournament. Not after what happened the last time I made it to the final round. Maximilian fucking Pegasus. Mm. For the record, Duel Masters I don't think has a Maximilian Pegasus character uh, equivalent. Like, the closest we would actually get would be Knight, but Knight is working not only for the good guys, but for the benefit between the, uh, the Kaijudoverse and the, and the human world, so... So we never go up against the creator of Duel Masters, in other words. We don't. I mean, hmm. it's not like he would. It's not like he would have all that all that much different of a deck than we would have. To be perfectly honest, <laughs> he might he might actually have five color shield uh, five five color shield trigger, but that's about all he. But that's about all he would honestly have. Well, listen. Just because I'm the creator of the game does not necessarily mean I have access to cards. Have you seen how narrow the card pool is for this creation of mine? <laughs> I summon Dude Joe. Have Stone Sword blow, uh, blow up. Um, now the uh, is it Hopper? I think Need his one, name is baby. Hooper. <laughs> anyway, Garcago Dragon, finish off Hooper. I like Garcago Dragon. Garcago Dragon's got a really cool design. Honestly, a lot of the wave. honestly a lot of the armored wyverns have cool designs, it's, uh, with the exception of what is it? It's, it's not Astro Comet. It's uh, Gatling Sky Terror. I really just like Gatling Sky Terror because it's so goddamn small. You number one. You has a puppy. The dogs can't believe it. You won the game. Also, you'll notice that Rusty has got a win, a win Ross w w record of 20 and 0 right now, whereas Flynn was 39 and 0. I had to do a lot of grinding with Flynn. Did it do do did it do all? Hey, legendary Boehner. You rang. This person's name is Abigail. She has braid claw. This will be a harder fight. Ha. <laughs> All right, we've got revol well, we've got revolver fish, and we and we do actually have king coral. But yeah, we had to throw away our king coral king coral in order for, uh, to unlock water mana, so that we can play revolver fish later, and so that next turn we can put down immortal baron. We're still gonna lose two shields from this braid claw, though. Yeah, somebody got started in a hurry. Yeah, braid claw is one of the literal best fucking aggro cards in the entire game. I really, really wish that Badass North Skyler was a good, was a better card, but it almost always just ends up going into Rusty's mana. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be down to uh, uh, two shields at the end of this turn. Behold the it's power okay. of aggro, motherfuckers! Yeah. Like, oh, you didn't have a board ready? No, you didn't have a solemn warning? No, you didn't have a solemn judgment? No. Well, then you lose. Well, Cry I wouldn't be able it. to use Solemn Judgment anyway, but... I once got taken out by a guy who top deck three Solemn Judgments, so all he did was just kept negating my normal summons. He ended the game with 1,000 life points, but he still won. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we killed the Braid Claw, but now we're going to be at zero shields this turn. Huh. No, I never knew that games could be that quick until I got my ass handed to me. Nah, 
Or it could be like modern Yu- Well, honestly, supposedly modern Yu-Gi-Oh's current format with uh, tier element being tier zero is actually a really skill intensive format. It's just that it still is over at the end of turn one. Yeah. Turn one is the most important move of the game as, it, as we've come to realize. Okay, uh, let's go for... Yeah, we're gonna go for Revolver Fish in order to not die this turn. Is it my turn to win or yours? It's obviously Abigail's turn to win, but thanks to Revolver Fish, we are gonna be able, we are gonna be able to uh, actually come back from this. Mostly because <laughs> she uh, mostly because she is out of the resources, as uh, as Pascal is mentioning. <laughs> Three minutes and five seconds left, and got to score two touchdowns. No problem. So, are we the '90s Bulls? <laughs> nah. Okay. Michael Jordan wouldn't fall that far behind. You sure? Well, I mean, while my '90s basketball trivia is not as strong as my as my uh, new millennium football trivia, I'm pretty sure Michael Jordan was known for mad points. Mad points, you say? Mm. His PPG is off the Richter scale. And that's a twenty. That's twenty. Uh, I would think between thirty and forty. Ah, okay. Burning power, meaning that's more than can actually, uh, meaning that Rothus can actually kill one of our revolver fish. Damn it! Up to one third of your points on the shoulders of just one player. Mm. Oh, look, snake attack. We never get to see uh, our opponents use snake attack, which is kind of sad, honestly. But <laughs> snake attack. It's a play on the word sneak attack. With the exception of it's actually much more powerful than sneak attack, so. Hmm. I mean, sneak, sneak attack in MTG allows you. No, 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 no. Sneak attack allows you to play any creature from your hand and give it haste, right? Does it go back to your hand at the end of the turn? I don't think so. I think it, I think it gets uh, sacrificed at the end of the turn. Oh, one of those deals. Ninja. No, no ninjutsu in Magic the Gathering is significantly more powerful than that. Oh, sorry, dash, dash, dash yeah. is the one I was looking and, for. And dash bounces it back to your hand. It's, Which is, uh, it's almost as bad as it going to the graveyard. Mm, Not quite, right. though. So, we get to use our signature summon on Bullshock Dragon! It's never going to attack, oh, sadly, but, but we did get to actually bring it out, so. Come on, Kira Tops, finish off that Abigail for us. Attack her in the face with the ball sack dragon. I can't attack her with the ball sack dragon because the ball sack dragon's got summoning sickness. Yeah. Damn right it does, baby. All right, Abigail's down, and with that, uh, Rusty advances to the next round. Yeah, I'm number one. Yep, Finger. Yep. And in the next part, Rusty will get into his second round of the t of the five colors tournament. I really wish that we actually got car uh, that we actually got cards during the five colors tournament. I know we can't edit our decks during it, but I would still want to get uh, uh, card prizes during it. Actually, no, we're moving on to Luke's campaign. Now we're moving on to trays. Be safe, everybody.